Hi, this is Melissa at Her Quiet Passions, and today I'm here to talk about two of my favorite grevilleas. This is a beauty. This is the peaches and cream grevillea. And I'd say at this time it's about eight feet, seven, eight feet tall. Hummingbirds love it. This is one of the newer flowers. They get more pink as they develop. And I've cut this back a lot because it's just a tad close to the sidewalk here. But it's still, they, they don't mind being pruned. It gets a little bit of shade, but mostly sun. And so happy, the ferny leaf look of it, the um, delicate texture, it's just, I get so many compliments on this peaches and cream grevillea. Over here is another grevillea, and I like planting these grevilleas or plants that have um, attraction for hummingbirds, butterflies, bees. In fact, I'm looking at a bee right now on this flower. It's in there. This is a superb. It's really enjoying that. I think it's the getting the nectar. Uh, a superb grevillea. And it's smaller than the peaches and cream. This is only four feet high. And it needs a little nipping here and there just to keep it bushier, but uh, mostly it's got this graceful kind of arching habit. A slight slope here so it, it does um, reach down. And it's getting, it gets full morning sun. It's um, after noon now, so it's starting get, getting shade. So, you know, it, it'll uh, live with half, half day sun. As with many Australian plants, grevilleas like to grow in neutral to acidic soils. If you have uh, alkaline soil, you can counteract it by applying sulfur, which will unlock the iron in the soil and make the plant green. And those are two of my favorite grevilleas.